Hey guys, welcome back. This is AppThunder.net bringing you another commentary. Now today we're actually going to be talking about an Android version of Clash of Clans. You may have seen your family or friends playing Clash of Clans and always wanted to play it on your Android device. Well, now you can play a version of Clash of Clans called Viking Wars for Kakao. Now before I get into details of Viking Wars, I want to point out that you're going to have to use Kakao Messenger before you can actually log into Viking Wars. The reason is that uh, Apple actually uses a game center to manage user accounts and have people log in and interact with their friends. Now, Android doesn't really have a game center equivalent, so the developers of this game actually used a Korean messaging service, which is all in English, it's just developed by Koreans, called Kakao Messenger. So I'm going to put a link to Kakao Messenger, I'm going to put a link also to this game, and what you're going to have to do is download Kakao Messenger, create an account, and then you can log into this game and actually play it. Uh, and I'm actually running this game on my PC, you'll notice that I have a mouse, and I'm using the program called BlueStacks, which basically emulates any Google Play game or app uh, in the Google Play Store and allows me to play it on my PC. And also I'll put another link to that as well so you guys can try it out if you're using a PC and you guys don't have an Android. But this game obviously runs better on an Android device because you can use your fingers and tap around um, and fights are a lot more fun if you're using your fingers to tap around instead of a mouse. Uh, but just for demonstration purposes I'm going to show you guys on this PC so bear with me uh, on using the mouse and I'm going to click around, um, hopefully it's not too loud. Now first of all I want to point out that there's a lot of similarities. Um, the biggest difference in this game is probably the visuals. So you'll, you'll notice right off the bat that this game has a town hall, it has uh, your resources up here, it has your diamonds, your workers, your, your barrier which is basically your shield over here. Over here it has the, uh, your level, your trophy count, the most recent events, and then down here um, are your other options including battle and your store. So straight off the bat, this game is actually very similar to Clash of Clans. I'd say it's almost an exact replica, um, as close as they can get uh, without making the exact same game. Now, first of all, instead of Elixir, you have Meat, um, which is the purple stuff in Clash of Clans. Now you have Meat and Gold. Uh, these gold bars are the same as the gold you have in Clash of Clans. Now, all of these uh, resources act almost in the same way as in Cl Clash of Clans. What I mean is, uh, if you want to buy anything, or if you gain anything, or uh, if you're asking your, if you're getting your gold mines to mine anything, all the numbers in terms of gold and elixir are identical to those in Clash of Clans. So, for example, I'm going to go to my store and I'm going to try to buy, for example, if I wanted to buy another gold vault, it's going to cost me 400 elixir. Um, in this game, it's meat, and that is the equivalent in Clash of Clans if you were to create a new vault. So even the numbers are the same, the names are different, and the graphics are different. But you'll notice that I have walls, I have my town hall, I have my watchtower, which is the archer tower equivalent, you have your Howitzer, which is the mortar equivalent, and it, it almost targets the same way as well. Um, you'll notice that in this red circle is uh, the range that the Howitzer actually can't attack, and then the outer circle um, is the range that your Howitzer can attack, and that's almost identical to the mortar. Uh, you have your cannons, you have your vaults, which are your storages, um, and then you have your mines, and you also have your troop camps and your boot camp. Your boot camp is where you create units, and then your troop camp is where you store your units. And I'm going to click on one, and you can see my total capacity is 70 out of 70, um, and it shows you the number of troops you have in each camp. Now, this is actually very similar to Clash of Clans and you're probably wondering what are the differences. Um, I'm going to point out that the, the first and uh, biggest difference that I noticed was that there's actually no clan system in this game. Um, perhaps that's why they called it Viking Wars, but you don't have a chat box over here and instead of interacting with your clans, you just interact with your friends. So this feature is kind of neat, but it also lacks the clan system, which I do kind of miss. Now, with your friends, I only have one friend right now, but with your friends, you can actually support them with troops, 
Um, I can actually give 10 troops because my friend has a level 2 um, cacao camp, which is basically the clan tower or the clan castle. You can also gift diamonds. You can get one diamond every 24 hours or you can gift uh, paid diamonds. And you'll notice that the prices are also exactly the same as in Clash of Clans. So the developers did have Clash of Clans in mind and they definitely wanted to create a replica for Android users. Now another neat feature that Clash of Clans does not have is the Sham Raid. What the Sham Raid is, is just a playful raid that you can raid your opponents and see how you are, uh, or raid your friends and see how you go against their competition. Um, so if I were to Sham Raid, my friend, uh, if I win or lose, I might receive diamonds, um, and diamonds are the equivalent of gems. So if I were to beat a friend who's a lot higher level than I am, uh, I'd actually receive more diamonds, or have a better chance of receiving diamonds than if I were to destroy a friend who was a lot lower level than I was. Now another major difference I noticed was the graphics, and you'll notice uh, when you're drilling troops that the, the design is actually different. Um, each troop has a different name and has a different icon, and uh, this one's actually called Little Fella, which is kind of cute, and his little design is basically the same as the Barbarian, except um, he's just designed differently. And I want to point out that all of the stats are exactly the same. For example, the Goblin equivalent will go straight for your resources, and they do twice as much damage, just as the Goblin would, and this is actually called the Guinea Bee, which is also kind of cute. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the P.E.K.K.A. equivalent, um, for those of you that are interested, this is the strongest unit in the game um, in terms of attack. Now it can only attack ground units like the P.E.K.K.A., um, but it's very fun to use. Uh, and then you have your Vicopter, which is the dragon equivalent. And um, I also want to point out that the upgrades are the same as well, um, and also the units. So you have the exact same buildings, except for there's no expo. Instead, there's a rapid fire building, which I believe can only attack ground units. Um, so there are some minor differences, but overall, it's almost the same game. So if you're looking for a game that's very similar to Clash of Clans, but have not found one for Android, I highly recommend you guys check this out. Um, you have extras. Now the extras are different from Clash of Clans because there are no flags. Instead you have letters, so it's kind of fun. You can uh, spell things out, you can use symbols, um, you can play around with the letters and see what you can spell. And then lastly you have barriers. Uh, these are the same as shields, except you don't have the, uh, the multiple weak shields, I believe, that Clash of Clans has. Uh, instead, it only goes up to one weak, and it does cost gems, uh, or diamonds in this game. Now, your workers are also the same. All the prices are the same. Uh, you're going to notice so many similarities with Clash of Clans, but there are some things that are different, and they do actually make this game feel like it's... Um, it's a bit more developed than Clash of Clans. Now, this game actually is a replica of Clash of Clans before the Dark Elixir update. So, you are going to have to take a step back and uh, realize that this game doesn't have the Barbarian King or the Archer Queen, and it also doesn't have all the Town Hall level 10 lava stuff that uh, Clash of Clans does have. Um, and lastly, let's take a look at one of the highest level bases just so you guys can take a look at what it looks like. I did accidentally click on the events. It's all in Korean. Um, we'll have someone translate this in the future, but for now I think these events basically are giveaways, very similar to the top uh, the top three clans in Clash of Clans that get gems every week. Instead I think they, don't, they, they give out uh, these devices or something like this. They also just had a sale where everything was 15% off. You would get 15% more um, by attacking people, and by building things, you also save 15% on each building cost. Which is kind of neat that they're doing all these updates, and you'll see that I have 130 trophies, and there's about 40,000 users above me. Um, I do expect this to change as more people are going to come flocking to this, this Android version. Um, I don't think it has much publicity yet because it has been tailored towards the Korean community. Um, you'll notice that all the top players are in Korean, um, but sooner or later, since this is in English, there will be a lot more people playing um, who are English players. Now, 
I'm gonna look at the top uh, the top player and just give you guys a feel for what it looks like to be at the top and what a top level base looks like. So right off the bat, it it looks just like Clash of Clans. Um, you have your town hall in the middle. Um, you also have the three star system. If you get uh, the town hall, that's one star. If you get 50% of the base, that's another star when attacking, and then if you clear the entire base, that's your third star when attacking. And the trophy count is almost on par with Clash of Clans. It looks a little more inflated because they're nearing 5,000, whereas Clash of Clans has the top players nearing around 4,000. And in this game, uh, almost all of the buildings are similar to Clash of Clans. You have your mortars, you have your air defense, which are called air harpoons. This would be your clan castle in the middle. Uh, you have your Drake Tower, which is the equivalent of the Wizard Tower. These are your high-level watchtowers, uh, your Gold Vaults, and then your Cannon. Um, and lastly, you have the Rapid Fire Building, uh, which is also neat. And you'll see this uh, the use of this, uh, this design in action, uh, where he's actually spelling things out, even using the heart symbol. And they do cost diamonds to use, but it's also neat that you can spell things out. And last thing before I go, I want to point out that the achievement system is different from Clash of Clans. There aren't going to be achievements that give you 450 gems right off the bat, but there are achievements for every level, and it's a set number of diamonds that you receive. So for example, for the last trophy, you get 60 diamonds no matter what achievement you're doing. And for the first one, you get 5. And it just increments from there. And there's actually 110 different achievements, so I find that it's actually easier to get diamonds in this game. Because one, your friends can give you diamonds, and two, the achievements are just easier to complete, and you get a lot more diamonds. So this game is more lenient on giving out diamonds, whereas Clash of Clans, it feels uh, a bit tighter. Um, feels like you, you kind of want to pay. In this game, you can, you can get by without paying pretty easily, and you can actually clear all of these obstacles and get diamonds as well, just as in Clash of Clans. So uh, if you're looking for an Android version, definitely, uh, definitely suggest this to your friends, show them around, um, and tell them about this game. Uh, and it's a lot of fun, I've been playing it for about 5 days now, and I got my Town Hall to level 6. Um, I can post more updates, I can do some battles if you guys are interested in seeing more uh, Viking Wars content, um, I'd be happy to release more videos on Viking Wars. Uh, this is App Thunder signing out, thanks for watching guys.